Yo guys, F122 gives players a lot of different camera angles to choose from when racing. You can drive using a chase cam if you fancy more of an arcade experience, or use the cockpit cam if you're after realism. Many competitive drivers will use the TV pod camera angle, which positions the camera directly behind the driver's head, with the camera positioned centrally. However, if you're looking to replicate the camera angle you see when watching F1 on TV, the TV pod offset camera is the best camera to choose. When not racing in cockpit view, this is the camera I always go with. It allows us to produce a more authentic F1 experience in line with the broadcast experience we see on TV. In this video, I'm going to look at the best TV pod offset camera settings for every car in F122, showing you the best settings to use. Just a quick note, this video isn't going to look at which camera settings make you faster or anything like that. This is strictly a guide on replicating realistic TV pod or T-cam camera angles. Before showing you the best camera settings, I wanted to quickly touch on what the car specific setting actually does. This setting allows you to set different settings for every team on the grid. In real world Formula 1, the TV pod camera is placed ever so slightly different on every car. This means that when you watch an onboard video from an Aston Martin for example, the camera angle will be different to that on a Ferrari or Alpine. The car specific camera setting gives us the option to replicate every car's different camera angle. If you want a quick camera setup that looks fairly realistic for every car, you can leave this disabled. This will mean that in F122, every car will use the same settings. If, however, you often race in different cars and you want to replicate the exact camera angle for every car, you should enable this setting. I'm going to show you every single camera setting on screen now for each car. I've left timestamps in the video so you can quickly jump to any car on the grid and view that car's individual settings. You'll see in the video that there are a few settings that are similar across all cars. Predominantly, the angle always has to be reduced, as the T-cam on a Formula 1 car always points further down towards the car than it does in F122. The ideal camera setting for most cars in F122 will have this set at or close to minus 20. In some cars, such as the Alpine, even minus 20 isn't enough to bring the camera far enough down to replicate the real angle shown on TV. I also always set the near clip plane to 20, this will prevent any part of the car model clipping through on screen. And finally, another setting, camera shake, is personal preference really. I like to have a little camera shake enabled to increase the feeling of speed. However, reducing this down closer to zero is more realistic for what is seen on TV. And just for those of you who are wondering how to change your camera in F122, there are a couple of ways. First off, you can pause the game any point while on track and you'll see your camera in the main menu. You simply scroll down to this and then scroll left and right to change the camera angle. 
or alternatively, you can map the change camera option to a button on your controller or racing wheel. To do this, open up the settings and navigate over to controls. Once you've selected a controller profile, you'll then be presented with a list of button inputs. Simply scroll down to the change camera option, click on it, and then press the button you wish to use to change camera. Once you've done this, exit the controls menu, ensuring that you've saved the camera profile. And then from that point onward, you'll always be able to scroll through all of the F122 cameras using that chosen button. Hopefully this video has been useful. And if it has, smash that like button on this video and leave a comment as that will really help the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to be releasing a lot more F122 content. So if you like this style of content, hit that subscribe button and hit the alert bell to be notified when new videos drop. But for now guys, I'll see you on track.